And with this kill, I finished up 69 Slayer. Now, I've been training Slayer from 57 to 69 with a cannon most of the time. And this has gotten me from 60 to 71 ranged. That is pretty much one range level each Slayer level, which is amazing. But also expensive. Many balls were lost and we all know that balls of steel are expensive. Now, let's go sell that Slayer tab. I have kept most of the items ever since I've trained Slayer to 69 and this is my current tab. So let's start selling. Oh wow, that is actually way more than I expected. So if you want to get your quest cape and you will need to have 69 Slayer, I think that is a good approximate amount of money that you can get from getting 69 Slayer. It is currently 3.3 million GP. But I have used a cannon most of the time and I've used like 20 to 25,000 cannonballs, which adds up to like 4.4 uh, to 5.5 million. So. I have lost actually 2 million GP, but training it with a cannon is a lot faster. It makes your XP rates like 3 times faster for me. But also this is not including all the food and the potions that I've used, so I might even have lost 3 million GP. Now with 69 Slayer completed, I just need to have 60 Hunter and 70 Crafting as my final 2 skills for Monkey Madness 2. Since I've made more than 1.5 million GP by selling my Slayer tab, I'm going to do some blowing glass orbs for 64 to 70 crafting. This will cost 2.8 GP per XP and will add up to a cost of 1.5 million GP, but it will only take me 4.5 hours doing that method. Before selling my Slayer tab, I couldn't afford this method and I was actually thinking of spinning flax for the remaining crafting levels. Spinning Flax at the moment is 11.3 GP profit per XP and I could actually profit 3.8 million GP from uh, spinning all those Flax but that would actually take me 15 hours. That is over 3 times longer and I don't think that spinning Flax for 15 hours and a profit of 3.8 million GP uh, will be worth it. Now another thing. In my previous video, I asked for your input if you would be using my low level Monkey Madness 2 guide. You can still answer those questions on this video or on the other one, but as for the current results, it is mostly a fight between Iron Man and regular accounts. Iron Man can't make high level potions like Bruce and they mostly don't also have 85 crafting when they're about to do Monkey Madness 2, which is a requirement for a Fury Amulet. Since Iron Man are still the minority, most people want me to use some uh, high level potions and gear. My final decision of what gear, potions and food that I will be using is still undecided. I had 14 comments that have answered my questions, so if you want to, the questions are still in the description. If I would have one extra answerer, those answers of that one person will be actually 6.7% of all the answers. So you will have a uh, great impact. Now one of the questions of the last video got removed since I got 69 Slayer and I've already bought a Slayer helmet instead of buying the Slayer ring. Training to 69 got me a little bit over 550 Slayer points and with the cost of the helm being 400 points and the Slayer ring 300, I am still 150 Slayer points short for the ring. But this is also not the only issue. As the guide is going to be for low levels, the ring also has a crafting requirement of 75, while the quest only requires uh, 70. Right here, Slayer ring. So I think most low levels are just going to get 70 crafting 
and I don't think they want to use a spicy stew and hopefully get a boost of plus five to be able to make some slayer rings just for that quest. So I'm probably also not going to be doing that and I'm not going to make any slayer rings. I also don't have enough slayer points anymore. Now this is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to sell my cannon and my remaining balls and maybe some other slayer related gear since I am done with that skill now. Okay, thanks, bye.